Okay, I'm just on this little point. Um, you can see there's some clearing there. Got tracks all around. Once again, uh, I think that's bunny, but nonetheless, there's tracks all around in there. And my 220 bucket set with bait in the back. And nothing near it. <sighs> like, really? Freaking weasel. Came close, but didn't stick their head in. Like, ooh. nice. I'm gonna have to come cut those. Um, anyways. But yeah, that's my bucket set. I got, uh, I guess, two more Martin boxes. Wait. Must be three more Martin boxes. And, uh, another snare pen to check. So, I'll carry on. Okay, coming into Martin box number three. This one's got a bit more birch around. Uh, uh. <laughs> no. uh, yeah, it's got more birch. More pine, spruce, uh, mostly spruce. But yeah, it's got a little bit of everything. I'll come up and show you here. Again, a few weasel tracks around. Uh, weasel, weasel. Looks like I still got bait. Yeah, I got bait. I'm not sticking my hand in there to clean it off though. So, I'll just, uh, there's not really anywhere to go up. Yeah, I'll cut through here. So again, I'm thinking Fisher, but I don't know. I know fishers won't always run up the pole, but like the 220 sets 50 yards that way, maybe 100 max. So, anyways, that's this set. You can see there's nice bush, thick bush, but nice bush. And that's what I'm in. So, I'll carry on to the snare pen and two other Martin boxes, and then uh, I'll show you a bit of the trail that I've been cutting. I have to cut a trail. This is my first year on this line, and uh, for me, oh, I'll go up to the lake here. For me, it's easier to drive to my parents' place and hop on the skidoo to access my trap line, obviously, than it is for me to drive. This is a 27 mile lake. I'm at about 8 miles from the uh, nearest crossing. So I'd have to drive all the way up there. Well, actually, I have to drive all the way around and come back to that far stand of trees right about center of my glove there. So I uh, use the skidoo. I've been trapping along the, skidoo, the lake, and then I'm going to cut into the bush further up and there's a trail about two clicks from the lake so I'll just go in I got a uh, running pole set in here so we'll go check it out again lots of sign uh, oh this one looks a little messed up maybe I can get through the trees no, it's not. Not at all. Running pole set, 160 beaver bait, three nails, a stick uh, a little higher up, kind of make them not want to step on the metal. The snow fell and made me a cubby, so that's pretty cool. But, yeah, no tracks around, nothing. Goes up a hill. There's a property stick marker right there. So yeah, I'll turn this off and uh, carry on. Okay, Martin box number four. Along Mr. Leaning Pine. Uh, bait's kind of buried. Got 
guessing weasel, squirrel maybe, weasel or marten tracks there, bunny tracks there, and this is also where I have my snare pen, so we'll, our bait pile, another little bait pile, and I can tell you right now nothing's been in here, if they have they haven't touched anything, oh maybe they have been in here, so, oh they've been in here, Snare number one is empty. Uh, I guess I don't have one snare. Snare number two has been pushed out of the way. Snare number two fixed. Something went there, but something went right through it again. Like, I'll just get close up here. Wrap my wire. My snare's tight in there. Come down. Wrap my wire. That's double sh wrapped around the tree. Comes up here. Kind of hooked in. Hold my snare in place. Cam locks on my snares. Have to do in Ontario. So, yeah. Um, oh, there's snare, another snare. Not even went close to that one. Between the two uh, smaller trees, just right of the big pine. Uh, like I said, there's another snare right there. He didn't even go close to that. It's actually not in a really good spot, or now that I think about it, but whatever. And then. The other snare is right there, just off the... Oh. Damn it all the hell. There's right there. Just off the end of the log. So, I figured you'd come around the end of the log. I guess I should stick a stick there, since we know what happens when you don't stick sticks beside your snares. They go that way. <laughs> Bastards. And then under that tree. Like. Anyways. That's my day of trapping. Fuck all. I do have five Martin and five four Fisher this year, but my Martin quote is 43. So I'm far off from that. And well, figure I should match the Fishers to the Martin or close to it. But anyways, that's my setup. I got one more Martin trap to go check. We'll go check it out and see what happens. Okay. Okay, last Martin box of the day. Just show you real quick. Bait's in there. Box is in the tree. I'm about, oh, probably was four feet off the ground before the snow came. Uh, something came through here. Most likely another fox, but a nice big cedar right there, big jacks, uh, or black spruce there. I think that was dead, it could almost be cut up for firewood. I might just do that. But anyways, another one here. Like, so that's that. I'll carry on down my trail and I'll show you how I set up a Martin box myself. And then maybe you can tell me what I did wrong. Okay. Okay. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm uh, just about to set up a Martin box here. It's down there. When I came, I had my traps. Uh, because my little milk crate here isn't very big, I uh, stuck the bait in the bottom. And then I had three traps sitting on top of it. This is the uh, second or third trap down in the bottom of the bucket. So it wasn't directly on the bait, but close enough. Um, I'm in a bit of an open area here. I think this is the other cut line for that property. I'm not quite sure, but it almost looks like it. I really like that big tall dead tree for firewood, but it's way back there and... Yeah. Anyways, so I got pine, spruce, old pine, new pine, new spruce. My chair carries on. It's uh, not completed. 
I actually stopped there and turned around because it's a good spot to turn around. But it carries on down this way. And then uh, once I get through this set of tag altars, I turn the corner. Come around through here. Nice little spruce tree, spruce area again. Around my corner. And then up through here. And I guess I was going up through here. Yeah. And then from here I have to decide where I'm going. Because I've got deadfall everywhere. So it's not exactly, well, no, I know I'm going that way someplace, but that's what my trap line looks like, that's what my bush looks like. Anybody can figure out why I'm not catching a whole lot along the lake here. Some advice would be appreciated. You've seen all the fox tracks. Um, you've seen all the other sign that I showed you. Not like there's well, I don't see a whole lot of sign here of anything. But I do see some. So like I said, we'll carry on. See what it looks like. See what else I can't find and uh well, no. Sorry, check that. I'm gonna set a Martin box. Let you see how I set it. And then we'll uh carry on and get the hell out of here and go start flushing some beers since gotta get caught up on that and get those finished up before January's deadline so okay I'll carry on